Hello everyone and welcome back to the Outer Wilds. Last episode we watched the sun explode in our face. It was pretty epic, as we all say. Uh, okay, this episode we're gonna do our usual thing and check out the ship log. See some new stuff. All right. Cool. So it's starting to get more and more connected. We got here Rybex camp. Rybex set of camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much know my history has ma is matched only by their terror of the black hole. <laughs> Fair enough. Rebek says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. They tried, but they probably a path. There's probably a path beneath the crust somewhere. Dark bramble seed. Launch my little scout. It's somehow much bigger on the inside. What does that chevron mean? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Escape pod one. Old settlement. Some more to explore. Hanging City. There's a huge Nomai City just to the north of Rybex campsite. White Hole Station. Every Nomai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. The Nomai notice something strange. Warped objects appear to arrive at the receiver on Brittle Hollow slightly before they departed the White Hole Station. This negative time interval between the object arriving and the parting was incredibly minuscule, roughly 100 thousandths of a second. The Nomai were skeptical if their equipment could even measure time to so much, such a small degree. The negative time interval measured in the White Hole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. Northern Glacier. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recre recreated warp technology. Quantum Moon. The Nom Nomai on Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Church's research notes mention a quantum moon that no Harthian has ever been able to land on. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This tower is located on Brittle Hollow's equator. Held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on the first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Strange rock that wanders when no one's watching. Nomai turned this shard as the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. The shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. Quantum signal. Uh, it comes from somewhere on the hourglass twins. Quantum Grove, there's more to explore. Quantum Signal, coming from somewhere in Giants Deep. Alright, lots of stuff for us to check out. I kind of want to switch things up and not go back to Brittle Hollow. I think I'm going to check out the Hourglass Twins next. Ember Twin and Ash Twin here. Of course, I want to know what this thing is, but I'm kind of afraid to approach it. Let's see if we can spot that uh, quantum moon somewhere. It's over here by Brittle Hollow. Let's see if we can actually get to it. There's my hourglass twins. There's the uh, Adler Rock. Why is it smoking? Oh, smoking? thing is that looks away so it's gone now and now it's where could it even be nowhere to be seen okay let's go for the hourglass twins I don't think I can just reach it yet Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh man. They just rotate so quickly, it's hard for me to uh, to actually uh, catch up with them in a way that I can land on them. Oh. I see a Nomai structure. Gear up. Let's check it out. Gravity is reasonably high. Oh, don't go too far now. Oh, this only goes out. Let's check that out. Anything I can see here? No? It's a very small planet. Yeesh. Something tells me I do not want to jump into that. Okay, something here. Not really. Head towards the South Pole. Okay. Do the no man's sky jumps. More or less. Does this mean I can walk on it or something? Oops. I guess not. There we go, I can go down this thing. No? Oh, it is coming up. Oh, look at that. Interloper, so close. So cool. Um, I don't get it though. Let's go around this way, I guess. Get back to my ship. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so scary. Uh, I think getting like stranded in space is one of my biggest fears, even though it's not like super reasonable that that'll happen to me. But yeesh, I guess it's just the media I've consumed that has to do with just like. But I guess that's why it's so uh, riveting. Gear options. Freeze time while reading. Conversations, ship log, translator, translator equip mode, auto, jetpack boost mode, manual. Okay, never seen that before. That's cool though. Um, I want to go move over to that next planet right there. So I'm just gonna kind of do this quick and easy like. Don't fly into that thing. Ew! What the? It's just like mashing up with the planet's core. Alright. Crazy structure here. Gravity... Oh, it's about the same, I guess. Do I know where I'm going? Not particularly. So weird. Oh, I identified signal nearby. Right, right up there. Not making it easier to reach you. I wonder 
what happens if I fall into the center? I'll probably just die. Uh, not like, uh, unlike when I fell into that black hole. Oh. Ow. Okay, punctured my suit. Melloray. Coleus is missing. He vanished from the lake bed cave, the one at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole, several days ago, and were unable to find any trace of him. I don't know how much air he had when he disappeared. I beg any friend reading this, help us recover Coleus. Melloray. This rock is very familiar. Did you trap... Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appear identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us down there. An update. Meliora I went back to the lake bed cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. That means the moon wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Yeah, well... We figured that much. Go back. It won't take me with it if I stand on it, will it? That'd be tight. Okay, I guess that's all there is to see in this particular spot. Oh, wow. This is where I came from? No. Going to the South Pole right now. I think. I'm just kind of traveling to the through the canyons. Hopefully, I don't run out of fuel or oxygen. Distress beacon. It's another one of these buildings. Escape pod two. We need status reports for all systems, but initial readings first. Is everyone unarmed? Unharmed? Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Anana, everyone survived the crash. It's a relief, at least. You yeah, have my gratitude. But were you able to find the other escape pods' distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't. I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Well, we found one of them earlier. Oops. What do you got for me? I think we start down here. Uh, up here. Begin flight log. Escape pod two vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated awaiting departure from vessel. Escape about three, not launching, escape about two, collision imminent, preparing for impact. Do not seek seek shelter on this planet. This compared to the other one which was hospitable. So these big things are the escape pods, I guess. Melloray, the heat from the star system, sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface and broke into what scanned Shows a cave system, which is much cooler air. I would recommend we seek a site down there to build a long-term shelter. These passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and send into caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone. And be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Okay. Let's see. Emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There's nothing interesting at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a certain time. Do 
Do not follow this tunnel to its end. Coley and I will examine the horror that lies at this terminus later, provided we live through this. Really? Giant. Oh man. <laughs> Someone that died there. Sad. Okay, I'm running low on fuel and oxygen, which is not good, but dang. not the end of the world, I guess. Kind of don't want to go down there. Let's see. We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I'll be able to a long-term shelter there. Cameron's wise choice for shelter. Could you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I'll left directions to guide you there. On a note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Not let yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Okay. Let's hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The path to the shelter site is somewhat convoluted, so follow the instructions ahead closely. I don't see any instructions. Fast. It's not good. I need to get out of here. Oxygen, oh, sixty seconds remaining. Crap. I don't think I have any options here. How do I get out? Oh, sweet. You are a lifesaver. Scroll. Top of your chart. Clearly, no mind we're making astronomical observations here. It shows an excellent spot. With this big rotating devices for, what is no mind we're observing? Positive, there was something special about the orange symbol on that device. Hal and the new astronaut's transfer tool would be nice to have handy around now. No doubt. This just tracks the position of the planets. I oh, look. What the heck? How did I miss that thing? It's pulling the surface of that planet onto this one. Dude, that is crazy. Pretty big. Let's see. This planet sometimes, only sometimes, has a moon. This is also of note. It appears, appears if no one's watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characterization? It's my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish from not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. 
given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. I found your note. Kindly, Melloray, kindly count me. Excuse me. Among this moon's admirers, what is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Virgil Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. Quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. I just observed the quantum move in order around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with their device? It's also possible there exists a sixth place in this star system to which the phantom moon travels. You have keen eyes, my friend. So this moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. It is here by Burl Hollow. I'll take him to the tippy top. So I can get back up, I guess. little balcony here. Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, another one of these teleporter rooms, huh? I wonder where it'll take me.
Here's our first delivery, our one warp core fresh from the black hole forge. We're just selling this course. Uh, installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ash Twin Project is underway. My gratitude. Uh, I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and folk found in, on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built on the Ash Twin Project, so a visit station would be doubly useful. It's so loud. I suppose. More precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Yaro, yeah, stop using the sc scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density rivals the neutron stars. And go to meet her on the White Hole Station. Thank you. I should wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. I'd be happy to explain our Yeah, it's because that thing is right by me. Should I teleport? I think I'll... Oh yeah. Wait for this thing to align. And take a trip. Here we go. Maybe. Oh man, that sun is looking ready. gonna take me to Brittle Hollow so in a moment here we are going to ooh. oh it's so much quieter oh damn it <laughs> I didn't know I was upside down <laughs> I guess we could watch the explosion from space that'd be fun I guess there's just like more and more debris here. Look at that. Took the whole tower. As you let the like day go on. Can I see the sun from here? No. get a good look at the sun. I know I did this already, but it's pretty fun. Music, here it is. <laughs> I guess it has to rotate. Uh, isn't there like a center thing I can put it in to make it not rotate? No. Because I just have to keep manually maneuvering it. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I think this here will be the end, right? And we'll get right back to it.